Hello from the Caribbean, it's Jennifer Harding Marlin. I thought I'd do a video to talk more about my experiences moving and living in the Cayman Islands, as well as opportunities for people that are seeking employment in Cayman, as well as entrepreneurs where different opportunities exist, as well as what it's like in the day-to-day -day life in the Cayman Islands. So I lived in Cayman, Grand Cayman in 2017 approximately 2017. I lived there for a year, absolutely loved it. So Grand Cayman is the more populated, bigger island, and then there's Little Cayman and Cayman Brac. So I'd suggest if you want to experience the Cayman Islands to first experience Grand Cayman. Grand Cayman population is about 65,000. It's really interesting is that it's, there's no personal income tax and they have interesting business and opportunities that exist in Cayman. So if you're someone that's looking for employment, if you're either an attorney or an accountant or a business person and you're looking to get a job in the Cayman Islands, I would recommend contacting a recruitment firm or getting in touch and we can put you in touch with a, a recruitment firm to help you. A lot of the firms or businesses, they get lots of people that inquire or would like to seek employment in the Cayman Islands. And so they don't have time to filter through all the applications that they receive. And so often they rely on a recruitment firm. And so a recruitment firm would be in a better position position to assist you find your dream job as well as sort of sift through um, the different applications and present present you to different employers and get you in touch with different employers on island and then if you're an entrepreneur there's different or retired or someone that's looking to live and move in the Cayman Islands there's different residency programs there's so there's a, a lifetime grant residency program which also there's so there's two options one's like around 2.4 million US dollars and um, which also invested in in developed real estate so i can provide more specifics about that and that gives you the the, the rights to employment locally as well there is a lifetime grant um, or certificate of independent means for 25 years um, so those are that's around 1.2 million us then if you would are interested in establishing a company and moving to the Cayman Islands, you could establish a company through the Cayman Islands Special Economic Zone, which facilitates getting a work permit as well as uh, renting an office or establishing your business locally. What's interesting about the Cayman Islands is that there's a really big expat community. So there's people from Canada, the USA, Australia, South Africa, really all around the world um, that have established themselves there and their business there. There's lots of tech companies. Um, there's really great infrastructure. So. It, if you need the specialized expertise, it's most likely there since it attracts really high level talent. If you're moving to the Cayman Islands, I would recommend living close to Seven Mile Beach, which is the area, a beautiful white sand beach, lots of restaurants, lots of activities and people living in, living in that area, as well as close to Kamana Bay and Kamana Bay was developed by the Dart family. So the Dart family has invested billions of dollars in the infrastru infrastructure in Cayman Islands and making Cayman Islands a really great tourist and living destination for people. And um, so in, in this area, you'll probably be able to meet lots more people as well as it might be close to your, the, it's close to Georgetown, which is the, the cap capital of uh, Cayman Islands. And um, yeah, there's lots of activities in this area. So Cayman Islands is great for individuals. It's also great for families. Uh, they have international schools. They also have public schools. Everyone is really well educated. There's lots of act after school activities for kids, lots of activities from you know swimming, diving, tennis, sailing, dance, arts and crafts, a library. I mean, you, you name it, there, there's activities for kids for all ages as well as adults. Um, one of the things that I love doing in the Cayman Islands is on Sundays, which we call a Sunday fun day in Cayman Islands, where everybody goes to Rum Point. So lots of people take their boats to, to Rum Point and everyone's on their on different boats or you're on a friend's boat and everyone's barbecuing, listening to music, chatting. Everyone wants to, to just have a fun time. So it's a really great opportunity to meet people by doing Sunday fun day at, at, at Rum Point. And um, yeah, so those are, those are some of the things. And other things that I really enjoyed about Cayman Islands is fishing. So I'd often wake up in the morning at 4.30 in the morning to go out fishing. So there's a 12 mile bank and 20 mile bank that have really a great fishing. There's fishing tournaments that are common in the Cayman Islands. There's really pretty much anything you wanna do though you'll, you can find people that have similar interests and that are willing to do activities or even create the activity that you want to do. 
Um, yeah, so Cayman Islands, uh, really great. It's expensive to live. It's, uh, I'd say it's probably equivalent to, uh, maybe the, the cost of living is the same as Bermuda. I've also spent time in Turks and Caicos and Turks and Caicos, maybe similar, similarly price wise. It, it's really a great, uh, great place to live. I think you should at least try living there for at least a year to experience what all the Cayman Islands has to offer. Uh, and so, yeah, so if you'd like more information about Cayman Islands residency by investment opportunities or what life is like in the Cayman Islands, please feel free to contact me at jennifer at jhmarlin.com. All right, all the best. Bye.